First of all, it's a pleasure to have you here in AIPS Media. Let's talk a lot about a little bit those plans UEFA had for the under 20s, under 90s uh, in next competitions. Yeah, well, with this, uh, we have national team competitions for the youth, but uh, as from next year as well, we are organizing for the first time the so-called UEFA Youth League, which is actually a Champions League for uh, young teams for the youth teams of the teams participating in the Champions League. The kickoff is uh, this year, so we all look very much forward to this new competition which will give to young players again a chance to compete at the very highest level in Europe. We have known that it's non, that you don't want profit about it. You only want young players to have experience in the Europe uh, matches, in the Europe thing. Kind, they're going to get it in their national selections. But don't you think this could be maybe a chance to have a little bit of profit in not this year, maybe 10 years, 20 years? No, I have to say with the youth competition, be it national team competition or club competitions, as well as with the young referees where we have a lot of programs, we never look at uh, profit. We look really at the development of the players, at giving them the opportunity to compete at the highest level. Because at the end, this is what makes the football better and uh, our philosophy in any case is always to protect football. If we protect football, if we protect the game, everything else, including the popularity of the game, including then the commercial part, the business part of the game comes by itself. But it has never to be an objective. Let's change a little bit the topic because we have an Europe team, a UEFA team, in the final of the Confederations Cup. It it is Spain. They come from World Cup, they come from Euro to Euros. What do you think about not this team but the Spanish football in general? But Spanish, Spanish football is uh, top level. Uh, some great clubs, uh, they have been dominating uh, European football, uh, uh, especially at national team level, but also club level in the last years. So I think uh, Spanish football is global football, is world football, is European football with uh, great teams, with uh, great national team, under 21 champions. Uh, even on women's football, they use the under 17 team was, uh, has won the match for the third place here at this tournament. So Spain is one of the great countries of football in Europe and in the world. We have in Latin America a little problem or a little fight between media and uh, and Conmebol and even the federations because in media we said the mental part it's also so important not only physical in the players what do UEFA thinks about this it's that important mental and physical or only physical as sometimes they think no of course uh, a player today has to be uh, well prepared uh, from a physical point of view but the pressure that uh, the players have these days, especially in the top competitions, is very, very high. So they must be very solid also uh, mentally and uh, it's important. And this is the same for the referees, by the way, with whom we are working directly. As far as the players are concerned, it's a matter for the teams. Referees, this is our team. It's important to prepare them psychologically as well as physically and to give them the best conditions. Let's change one last topic about referees. We have made a great job with them, they have another assistant referee now. Do you think maybe could be that FIFA accept the other assistant and in bigger competitions like World Cup and under, uh, well, under 20, under 17 World Cups? Well, I hope so, we all hope so because we had a great, um, uh, it had a great impact, we had, it was very positive for us. There are no negative effects. It will never solve all the mistakes that the referees make. They are human beings, they continue to make mistakes. But it helps, and it helps the referees to see better all around the pitch and to make less mistakes at the end of the day. So there are only positive aspects to have two more referees. It gives the opportunity to more young people to participate in the game. So I'm sure that sooner or later FIFA will also accept the additional assistant referees and we are all looking forward to this and to improve refereeing.